neighbor. How's it going? Fine. How about you? Okay. Uh, by the way, my wife and I are going out of town this weekend, and I was wondering if you could take care of some of our animals while we're gone. You know our dog, Jaws, don't you? Yeah, my leg still hurts from the last incident. Hey, he's just a playful little beast. Right. Hey, he likes to bark a little, and his bark is worse than his bite. Oh, yeah. Just feed him a can of dog food a day and make sure he has plenty of water in his dish. Oh. And then take him for a walk around the block. Well, how about if I just throw a frisbee over the fence to give him some exercise? Wouldn't uh, that work? Then he likes to watch the 3 o'clock soap opera on Channel 4. Huh? And brush his teeth after you give him some doggy treats around 4. Man, you really pamper your dog. And... Then brush his fur and? for about 20 minutes. He tends to shed this time of year. Oh, what? And then scratch him around the ears. Oh. Otherwise, he feels neglected. Is that it? Well, then there's Claws. Claws? Who's Claws? Oh, he's the cat we adopted from the animal shelter. But he's a little temperamental. What do you mean, temperamental? Well... <laughs> He has mood swings, mood swings, but he's doing better since he's been going to the animal therapist. A therapist? So, be sure to feed him a half cup of cat food two times a day, what? and don't a forget therapist. to put out some soft classical music classical. during his nap time at 2.40 p.m. But don't let him out of the house, because he might run away and chase the neighbor's dog. You have some high-maintenance animals. Not really. Well, and don't forget to change the cat litter daily, or he might have an accident on the carpet. Oh, great. And finally, there's Buttercup. Buttercup? Who's Buttercup? I'm afraid to ask. Ah, uh, she's a sweetie. What? If you know how to handle her right. Oh, great. Wait, let me get her for you. Here you are. That's... That's a snake. Hold her. That's a big snake with big fangs. Does the snake go to a therapist, too? Of course not. Uh, just anger management class. Oh, what? I'm joking. Oh, that cup is a very no, docile creature. She never bites anyone she likes. Oh. <laughs> if she doesn't, you'll know because she'll start hissing and staring at you. Kind of like what she's doing now. And while I'm leaving, you must be going out of your mind to think I'm going to watch a zoo full of misunderstood animals. You'd better hire some professional help, because I wouldn't watch them even if you paid me a million dollars. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Um. Um. What? Well, I need to talk to you, and I'm not really sure how to do it. It's kind of difficult, but I kind of I need to talk to you about something. All right, go ahead. Okay, you know, you know, Stephanie. Yeah. You're dating my sister, right, yeah, Stephanie? Yeah. Um, I think she's back on drugs. What do you mean? I I. I know she had a problem in the past, but she told me that 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 was over. Well, that's what she says. But, you know, I know my sister pretty well. I think I know her better than just about anyone else and and I know you guys have talked about getting married soon and Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's using drugs again and you really need to you need to know this, you need to face the facts, and you're going to have to deal with this now. So, but I, again, I, how do you know? She's doing some of the same stuff, you know, um, like, well, like, listen, you know, um, do you notice how she's been skipping work lately? Well, she said she's been having some health problems, so I just figured it was that. No, 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 she's not. Are you sure? Yeah, and it's and it's more than that. Like a month ago, she asked me to lend her a thousand bucks to fix her car. Wow, man. Um, 
I mean, she didn't tell me anything like that. I mean, her car is running fine. I yeah, think. I know. It is. It's running fine. Oh, great. Exactly. She's lying a lot now. And she's, you know, she's trying to hide it and she's good at hiding it. And I let her borrow my car a, a couple days ago and I had 50 bucks in there. And when the car came back, it was gone. She'd, I'm, I don't know how else it could have disappeared. Man, Pretty sure she stole this. it. I know. Um, but she's hiding things and she hides things from us. And okay. For example, like last week, I saw her with the two cell phones and when I checked the text on the one phone, wait, then wait, two phones. What do you mean? Yeah. Um, she only has one. No, she, she's got at least two phones. And when I checked the one phone, I saw some texts and she was talking about, um, um, some drugs and needing to meet up with someone to oh, buy them. And I, I'm sorry, Brandon. Um, I, we need to, we need to confront her on this. You need to confront her on this. I don't know how to do this. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I know, but you've got to, you can't, the, you, you know, you've got to do this if you want to try to hope that there's going to be anything to this relationship. It's, it's much better to talk to her openly about this now. Uh, Cause pro I promise you the problems will just escalate. So, but she hey, might blow up. She might, but hey, wait, listen up. Why don't you guys come over for dinner and we can talk about it together? You know, um, I just don't know. I know. And uh, you're right. She might blow up, but if you don't do anything, the, I promise the problems are just going to get bigger. She's probably going to end up losing her job. She's probably going to get arrested and she might even die. Man, you're probably right. I have to think about this and how to approach her. All right. L let me think about it and then I'll call you. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye, Brandon. Mikey, time for bed. Why? <laughs> Why? It's getting dark out. Well, do you want to talk before you go to bed? Yeah. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Um, the zoo. The zoo. Oh, that was so fun when we went to the zoo. What did you like best about the zoo? Um, the porcupines. They were big, weren't they? And what yeah. else? Yeah. What else do you remember? Um, the... Two giraffes. The two giraffes. And were they taller than me? Oh, or shorter yeah. than me? Or over your head. <laughs> they were over my head. They were pretty tall. And what else do you remember? I um, remember, didn't you see a, an elephant? Yeah. What about the elephant? Do you remember? Um. What was he, was he eating? Yeah. He was eating, and then Mommy said something happened with the elephant, that he he did something. He throwed dirt on us. He did? Oh, yeah. how did he do that? With his foot? No, his trunk. And then you fed some ducks. What color were the ducks? White. And what other animals do you remember? Um. Wasn't there some type of show? Yeah, a bird show. A bird show. What did the birds do? Um, fly. Oh, they flew around. One flight. One. One flew. Were they good birds? Yeah. Were they naughty at all? One was naughty. What did it do? Um, did to think what you ate the the man. What it could not do. Oh, okay. And then you saw some butterflies, didn't you? Yeah. What colors were they? After the bird show. After the bird show, you saw them. 
And were the butterflies flying around all over the zoo? Um, well, they're inside. They were inside, what, a little building? Yeah. And what was the building made of? Was it made of wood? No. What was it made of? Glass. Oh, it made of glass. And couldn't the butterflies fly out of the glass? No. No? What stopped them from flying out? Um, the air. Oh, the air. Oh, there was air coming down? Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. Well, it's time to go to bed now. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, um, you see, I need some flowers for my wife and, uh, you know, let, uh, let me guess, you forgot your anniversary and you're trying to make things up, right? Oh, is, yeah, is it that obvious? Well, yeah, we see men like you all the time that are so involved in the work that they simply forget about us. <sighs> well, it, 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 in this case, it's not like that. Sure, what do you need? Well, uh, I'd like to get a dozen roses with some greenery and a very nice card. Do you really think a dozen roses is going to cut it? Well, you, uh, I mean, if my husband forgot our anniversary, he'd be in the doghouse for sure. Well, you need at least two dozen roses, a dozen uh, balloons, and a romantic evening uh, at an expensive uh, restaurant. Well, I only have $10. $10? And... Yeah. Well, that will buy you a single rose and a hamburger at McDonald's, but that's it. Uh, wait... I actually have $12 and, uh, wait, hang on, let me see here, 32 cents, so that might be... Forget playing golf this weekend. Your wife is way more important. Oh, no. Oh, no, my wife is out in the parking lot looking for me. Oh, and, and she's looking this way. Please, please help me. She'll wring my neck for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, please, please. Well, well, it looks like I can arrange a small bouquet of roses. Okay. A couple are a little wilted. No, that's okay. But that's the best I can do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's and, fine. And I can also attach a small card and tie a nice ribbon around the flowers. Oh, that would be great. You're a lifesaver. I'll put you on my Christmas card list forever. Okay, okay, that'll be $12 even. Oh, you're an angel. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no. What? Now she's parked in front of your store waiting for me. I'm dead meat. Do you have a back door? No. It looks like you need to face the music and just talk to her. I can't, I can't. She'll probably be very understanding after you promise you to You don't wash know my wife. Well, you need to promise to wash the dishes and clean the bathroom for the next six months. Get out there and be a man. Could you call an ambulance just in case? This could get ugly. Man. Well, I couldn't have picked out a better spot to fish. What do you think? I mean, the water is so clear here. Listen to the birds and the sounds of nature. I mean, I'm not bragging or anything, but I have a real sense for fishing. I mean, I was born to fish, you know, my dad used to say. Really? <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you caught a fish? Didn't you tell me that you went fishing six or seven times last month and didn't catch anything? Well, well, I'm not making excuses or anything, but the weather was bad a couple of times, and an, and, and a fish dragged my pole into the water while I wasn't looking <laughs> no another way. time. Serious? And I wasn't, <laughs> at, and I wasn't wearing my fishing hat another day. You have to have a fishing hat to catch yeah. fish? Well, yeah, but today is different. Listen. What's different about it? We've been here about an hour, and you still haven't caught anything. Well, well, do you think you can do any better? 
Or are you just going to sit there and continue reading that book? Okay, let me show you. Well, but, uh, let me, well, no. No, give me let me show you. Give me that paw. I'll show you. I'm going to cast the bait out right over there. Perfect. All right. You'll probably catch a tree branch uh, or get your line snagged yeah, in a tree. You're see. Some just big wait. shoe or something nah, like you that. You just wait. You have to be patient. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. Oh, I got a bite! Oh, man, 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 look at that! That fish is huge! Whoa, 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 oh, wait, that, no, no. It is, it is! Help me! Come on, help me! Come on, help me! I'm trying to reel it in, help I, I, me! I gotta go back to no, the car. No, look, look at that thing jump! Go get the net! Get the net! Well, no. Come on, you gotta help me catch it! That's beaginner's luck. No, come on! Whoa, I got it! Look at that! What are you gonna say now, huh? huh? <laughs> what are you gonna say? <laughs> Nothing! So look who's teaching you. I'm gonna remember this day forever. <laughs> Forget it! Hi, Dr. Hyde. So, what seems to be the problem today? Well, I just came in for a checkup and a dental cleaning. Hmm. Open up and let's take a look. Okay, uh... Mm. uh, 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 uh wow! Uh, I've never uh, seen one like this before. Uh, Let me try this. Uh, 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 well, besides a lot of plaque buildup, oh. there's a major cavity in one of your wisdom teeth. I feel it. Has this given you any trouble? Well, the tooth has been bothering me, and it sometimes hurts when I drink something cold. Does it look that bad? Well, we're going to have to remove the decay, uh. and then we'll either put in a filling, or yeah. if the decay is extensive, uh. we can't repair it. You might have to put in a crown on your tooth, or as a last resort... We'll have to extract the tooth. Uh, oh, well, that sounds painful. Don't worry. I've done this once before. <laughs> huh? Nah, just relax. Wait, aren't you supposed to give me something to dull the pain? Uh, chicken. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. We can either use local anesthetic or nitrous oxide. Oh. Laughing gas. Oh. To minimize the discomfort you might feel. Well, or you can just grin and bear it. No, 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 no. Put me under. Yeah, I can't stand so. in, and I'd rather not be aware of what's going on. And if I need a filling, can I get one that looks like my other teeth? If we can save the tooth with a filling, I recommend the high-strength silver alloy filling hmm. instead of the porcelain one. It'll probably last a lot longer. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. Let's get it over with. Okay, pleasant dreams. Drill, please. Hey, Henry. How's everything going? And what's with the flowers? They're for my wife. Oh, a wedding anniversary or something? To tell the truth, it couldn't be worse. Oh. You see... I have to pick up my wife from the airport this evening, but while she was gone, there were a few minor mishaps. Oh, really? What happened? Well, I had some of the guys over Friday night to watch a basketball game on TV, but one of them got all excited and started horsing around, waving his arms, and he accidentally knocked over my wife's 250-year-old Chinese porcelain vase given, oh, to her, no. given to her by her grandmother and it broke beyond repair. Man, have you tried super glue? Yep. But she would be able to tell in a second I was trying to pull something over her eyes. Oh wow, you're in hot water now. If it had only been that. Oh, there's more? Yeah, you see, the water from the vase spilled all over the manuscript of a book my wife has been writing for the past two years and blurred the ink over many of the pages. Oh, no. And so one of the guys had the bright idea of drying the pages by the fire while we watched uh, the rest of the game, but a spark from the fire must have blown out and burned the manuscript <laughs> to a crisp. <laughs> but what about an electronic file copy? That one, didn't she? 
Well, actually, her computer crashed the day before while I was playing some computer games and haven't been able to get it to work <laughs> since. Man, are you in trouble <laughs> now. Oh, no. You're going to have a hard time digging yourself out of this one. Yeah. Oh, so I get it now. You're buying the flowers for her as a part of some kind of peace offering, right? No, not at all. They're for my funeral. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hi. I'm really sorry to hear about your dad. My sincerest condolences go out to you and your family. He was such a great man. Thanks. As you know, he had been sick for some time before he passed away, so we were somewhat prepared. So, how is your mom taking it? Oh, it's been really hard on her. I don't think you get over something like that. Yeah, I'm sure. My heart really goes out to her. Thanks. Uh, so, how is your mom going to be able to manage things alone? Well, financially, mom will be able to live a secure life from now on. I mean, dad had life insurance and substantial investments in property and stocks, so returns on those should take care of her. That's good to hear. But our main concern at this moment is her emotional state. Yeah. She's really down, so a call now and again should brighten her day. So, what are the funeral arrangements? The obituary in the paper didn't mention much about the funeral. Well, some of the family members will get together on Tuesday morning for a private memorial service. But there will be a viewing in the afternoon from 2 to 3, followed by a funeral service. One of my uncles will be giving the eulogy. I wish there was something I could do for you. Well, actually, there is. Oh? You know, Dad really admired you a lot, and before he died, he asked if you'd sing a musical number at the funeral. Really? I'd be honored. It would really mean a lot to the family. Sure. Then, see you on Tuesday. Okay, see you then. Hi! Welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant. Hi. Home of the one-pound, super deluxe, hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week. And it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But The Kitchen Sink. A what? Everything But The Kitchen Sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and Lemonade with crushed uh, ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now, that sounds disgusting. Uh, hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care <laughs> for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm, Okay. Your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety? For just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger, that's mm. all. Well, sir, Joe's hamburger restaurant only serves one pound burgers. Man. The one pound super hot and spicy, Ooh. the one pound barbecue burger, oh. and the one pound bacon cheeseburger. The one pound... No, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, yeah, you should order from the kids' menu. The half-pound super hot and spicy burger, uh... the half-pound barbecue burger, no. the half-pound bacon cheeseburger, the, the half-pound... No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety. But the burger only comes to 10 bucks. What about the other 90 cents? Hmm. Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And, okay, okay. I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. 
The sandwich should feed me for a week. Hi, welcome back to Susan's Gardening Show. I'm Susan, and we're ready to take our next caller. We have Mark from Seattle. Are you still there, Mark? Uh, yeah, but maybe not for long. So, how can we help you today? Okay, uh, my wife is really into gardening, and about five years ago, she received a beautiful climbing rose bush. I think an Agatha Christie. Ooh, that's a nice one. From her mother who has passed away. And anyway, the rose plant seems to be on its last leg. Really? Normally that rose is really quite hardy. I and know. It's very disease resistant. Too. I know. So but, what's the problem? Well, this situation isn't normal. You see, about a week ago, I was doing some yard work, and I was using some weed killer. Uh-oh. Yeah, to try to get rid of some terrible weeds, and... Did you spray the roses? Well, not, <laughs> not exactly. I set the spray container down near the roses while I was trimming a bush, and the container must have gotten knocked over, and the weed killer... Soaked into the ground near the roses. How much weed killer are you talking about? Uh, about six or seven quarts. Oh, uh, that's I a think. lot. You know, I think, you know, I mean, when you That's put... a lot. How yeah. are the roses? What do they look like now? Oh, dead. Real dead. Dead as a doornail <laughs> dead. But my wife hasn't seen them yet. Ha really? Yeah, and I... How, what have you done? Blindfolded <laughs> her? Well, I've kept her away from that side of the house where the roses are. But she's bound to see them at some point. Yeah, yeah you've got I, a problem. I mean, is there anything I can do to revive them? Not unless you're a magician. Well, can you recommend a quick-growing variety that can take its place? Mark, I'm sorry. You've made a mistake, a big mistake. Except that my wife warned me this could happen. Oh, oh man. Listen, you made a blunder, a big mistake, a really big mistake. And, but unless your wife goes on vacation for a couple of years, you're not going to be able to replace the roses that fast. <sighs> so, any recommendation? I mean, what do I do? You need to talk to her. Are you kidding? Are you, you don't I'm know my sorry. wife. Look, oh. you've waited long enough. Don't let the grass grow around your feet. Say something, but be sure to hide the garden shears before <laughs> you do. <laughs> Kneel down. Ask for her forgiveness now. But that's what I did when I killed her prize apple tree last no year. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, She's coming in from outside. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, right. no. One final word. Hide the weed killer. Oh, Thanks, but... Mark. That's all the time we have for now. Let's move on to our next caller. Ron, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just looking up some information on the internet. Like what? Let me see. No, no, it's okay. I mean, you know... Baldness? What are you looking that up for? Well, you know... I I mean, you're not that bad off. Oh, there you go. Bringing it up again. No, I mean it. You look great. Honestly, it's not that bad. Hey, I get enough of it from friends and and the people at work and now from you. Well, maybe you could wear a toupee. I think you'd look great. Oh, no. And have it slip off my head onto my date's dinner plate as they lean over to kiss her? Uh-uh. Well, have you ever thought about seeking medical advice? There are new advances in medicines that not only retard hair loss, but help regenerate new growth. Uh, I still don't give much credibility to medical treatment to prevent permanent hair loss. Well, what about accepting the fact that you're just losing your hair? Oh, I just can't give up hope. I know appearances shouldn't matter, but I don't know. I just feel that women just avoid me. 
Come on. You can't be serious. Oh, really? I've seen it many times. It just... Uh, I don't know. Hey, Megan. Come on in. Take a seat. Uh, somewhere. Wow. This place is a disaster. And the smell. It's... Oh. oh, it's not so bad. Yes, it is. It's terrible. Oh, come on. No, look. There are pizza boxes all over the floor. Do you need wait. a piece? Wait, I think that company's been closed. <laughs> like, two months ago. For health reasons. The stains on the carpet from who knows what. Uh, say goodbye to your deposit. <laughs> I, I'm not even going into the bathroom. And what is that smell? What smell? Let me, wait. What? Ah. Uh, what is in your garbage? This milk is curdled. How long has it been in there? Like, uh, are you trying to develop intelligent life? Like, <laughs> I mean, it looks like you're building a civilization in there. It's... It's not so bad! You keep saying that. <laughs> um, you need to hire a cleaning service. A what? Yes, a cleaning service. Cleaning service? Yes. You know my friend. She, ha she has her own company. They'll come to your apartment, clean everything from top to bottom. Clean your carpet. And it certainly needs it. <laughs> uh, dust your furniture, sweep, oh. mop. Everything. Clean your blinds, not that you'd notice. <laughs> uh, closets. And your appliances. That, 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 that sounds expensive. I, I, I don't think I can afford that. They, they usually send out teams of two people. But for you, they're going to need a whole hazmat crew. <laughs> well, how much? Well, they usually charge $30 an hour. Thirty dollars. But Whoa. it's gonna be more for you, I'm sure. Whoa, that's expensive. Look, you always tell me you don't have friends. I can see why. <laughs> Give them a try. Look, I can get you a discount. Okay, this you can't keep living like this. Oh uh, well, uh, sis, uh, do you have time? Maybe you could. <laughs> no, no. In fact, I remember I have to be somewhere. <laughs> okay. Well, what's their number? I'll I'll text it to you later. You, goodbye. <laughs> All right, bye.